These are the colors Jeanette is using for her vase. Titanium, dark titanium white. She's going to mix it with an iridescent medium. Uh, Scarlet Lake. Rose gold and white. We're going to try something a little different this time when we're finishing these vases. We're going to attempt to put resin on them. Are we going to have enough? And I'm going to use pink, metallic black, glitter silver, and white. I guess that's mm -hmm. a very princess, mm -hmm. very I princess vase. I don't know. Pink may change. I don't know. We'll see when it comes to that. I gotta change it to one gray because there's not enough that. Well, she's changing hers to warm gray. That's what we're gonna do. And instead of a canvas underneath, we are gonna do four tiles and try and turn the excess paint into coasters. Let's see how that works. Also, we're putting Floetrol. It's about one to one almost. One part Floetrol, one part paint. Maybe a little bit more Floetrol. And then we're going to add a little bit of water.
Island. We don't know how much we're going to need, so we're just sort of guessing here. sure how well this is gonna work but I think it's gonna work good and we're gonna torch it of days we'll see how well it turned out these look pretty good though yeah nice and shiny and now we're gonna put the rest of the resin on these Places we resined are done and they are much shiny I mean they're almost done you gotta sand the drips off <clears throat> they're much shinier than using the spray they look really nice you gotta be careful doing it because you can easily miss some spots I missed a few spots on mine and had to put a second coat over top of it but they turned out really nice. They're super shiny. They feel way more protected than the spray enamel. Excuse my voice, I am sick right now. I think that we are going to be doing it with resin, finishing these with resin from now on. We and liked this so much, and we had leftovers that we resined a bunch of other ones. A lot of these we don't have videos on, but the 
This one's super glittery. Some of them are still stuck, stuck to the cups. <clears throat> But resin, that's the way to go. And we got this one got some looks like dust, maybe some bubbles in it. They're hardly noticeable. I guess when you reflect it there, you can see some of them. Hmm. I'm not gonna be able to pull these off with one hand. We had to pull the felt off of some of these, and this one, the bottom ripped, but the resin sealed it up. They look so much more professional this way, I think. I really hated this purple one. <clears throat> but now that it's resined, it looks a lot better. Colors pop. More definition in the lines. Very nice. Oh, and our coasters turned out really nice this time too. You can see the glitter in there. Applying this resin by hand was definitely the way to go. Make sure you and make sure that you don't use a ton. This, these didn't have any drips on them. She did it pretty pretty good with her application of it. I mean, there's a drip there, but I had way more drips on mine. These turned out super cool. It's black, but they reflect, turn to gold almost. We liked the way these looked so much that we did some extra ones that we had laying around. We're definitely going to continue doing this. Applying the resin by hand. Making sure it's only a thin coat. So there it is, just a little bit of drip work, sand those off, and these are done. I don't know with the resin if we're going to put felt on the bottom of these, we might, but I think the resin will protect it enough. Thought I'd give you a comparison, but this is what they look like with four coats of the spray enamel, this is what it looks like with this one has two coats of resin on it. Four coats of spray enamel, one coat of resin. There's definitely a difference. I like them both. I mean, a matte finish isn't bad. A matte, uh, satin, I guess this would be. Gloss finish looks nice too. We'll do them both ways probably. I decided I'm going to record me sanding these off. I haven't seen anyone record it and I've never done it so I want to see how easy it is to do this. I will be using a palm sander though. I'm not going to sand it by hand. bumps Let's see still some bumps but it looks a lot better maybe I could touch it up with 
some sandpaper. I don't want to go too deep with this palm sander. But I think it looks fine. It only took three minutes. I can imagine doing it by hand to take a lot longer though. <laughs> Let me wipe it off for you and you get a better shot of this. All right. I really don't think these bumps matter, but they bother me. If you've got stuff in there, you're really not going to see them. Alright, end of the video. Thanks for watching.